In 2011, I was living in Austin, Texas. I wasn't camping, I wasn't hiking, and Bastrop was merely a town on the way to visit my family back home in Houston. I vaguely remember the news stories from when the fire started. The outdoors weren't part of my consciousness back then. But what I do remember is going outside of my apartment one day and smelling the smoke. In Texas, smoke can be common, but this was different. Different because when I looked east, I could now see the smoke. The smoke clouds from Bastrop were visible in Austin, and it was then that I began to learn more about the devastation that was happening. Firefighters from communities all over worked hard to contain that fire, but that fire burned for 55 days. And after all was said and done, the devastation remained and two people were killed. Bastrop State Park felt the brunt of those fires. The blistering heat that year made the loblolly pines nothing more than matchsticks wavering in the wind. And with the first spark, the matches were lit and 96% of the state park was burned. One glimmer of hope was the 80-year-old CCC structures that were spared, but the ecosystem was damaged almost beyond repair. Buildings can be rebuilt on a schedule, but Mother Nature works on her own time. The regrowth of the trees is slow, but it's happening. And with each visit, I see more green. I see the ferns battle with the growing plant life around them, and the hope for future generations becomes stronger. This is Bastrop State Park. Thanks for coming along on my journey through Bastrop State Park. I hope you see that the park has come a long way since 2011 and you definitely should make your way out here. Come visit this beautiful state park. If you have extra time, go visit Bisher State Park as well. Thanks for following along. Behind me is one of the CCC water fountains that you can find here at Bastrop State Park. You know what's funny is a lot of these fountains were only discovered after the fire in 2011. They were covered by brush here at the park and so it's pretty neat to see these still in existence today. They were used throughout the park as just places to get water like a normal water fountain. In this area that the water fountain in was primarily used as the day use area. Now it's just alongside the trail. Here on the red trail at Bastrop State Park, it's the scenic overlook trail that'll merge into the loop trail. And this is point of interest number five. And all it says on the map is nature's handiwork. So seeing a lot of regrowth in this part of the park for sure. Lots of young pine trees that are growing from the ground. So it's pretty neat to see. The first 
main point of interest besides the uh, water fountain and nature's handiwork. If you listen to the podcast, it's one of the two scenic overlooks that's at the park. This one that I'm coming up to is the roadside overlook. And if you're here just for the day and you're just kind of driving around, you can just you can just pull up to it and kind of hang out and have a snack. But it's definitely on the trail. Sorry. There's a uh, a wooden bridge that I just walked over that I realized wasn't flat wood. It was small logs. That would have been fun. Hey, check out this guy's hiking video who falls on falls on the trail. Anyways, I'll show you up close kind of what the scenic overlook looks like. And you can kind of decide if that's something y'all want to hang out. Hang out at or not. Um, it's really pretty today. Winter time. At Bastrop, there's a lot more green than I'm used to seeing. Because I realized while I was hiking, I've actually never been here in the winter. I only uh, torture myself by coming here during the summertime. And if you get a catch of my hat, you know, 21 and over, drink responsibly. But uh, if you're from Houston, that's the uh, St. Arnold Brewery. It's their hat. Actually, the hat I was going to wear, I left at work yesterday. Oh, well. Yeah, really pretty day today. I uh, ran into one couple on the trail that never been here before and they forgot to or didn't realize to grab a map. So I kind of got, got to go over the trails with them, give them a very quick Texas trailhead recap. So stay tuned. I'm here at Scenic Overlook. It's a uh, point of interest number four. Just a CCC little gazebo almost. There are some picnic tables in the background. And uh, you can kind of see the view through the building and kind of what you'll overlook. Great spot to rest. Great view, see the uh, highway below. Best drops booming, I tell you. Lots of growth in the area. So that's uh, point of interest number four, scenic overlook. Now on the Lost Pine Trail, that scenic overlook trail is really just kind of a connector to get to this part you're going to be walking towards the water tower. That's a good indicator for knowing that you're going the right way, because that's important. This is part of the park where it's a little bit more opened up. Whoa, watch out for the branches. A little bit more opened up as far as the trees go. A lot more of the destruction from some of the more recent controlled burns that they do here at the park which is to kind of help with Mother Nature doing her job to rebuild on the land here. So, a lot less shade on this part of the trail also. So keep that in mind. Make sure you stay hydrated. Bring plenty of water. They're not a sponsor yet, but I, uh, Stop that Bucky's on the way. Gotta get some kolaches. Gotta get that fuel to hike, so. And uh, check out the, the clean restrooms. You know, I love a good clean restroom if you've been listening along on the podcast.
This is the section on the Lost Pines Trail that comes up to the old road that goes through the park. You can see it behind me. You'll cross over it. You can take this as a shorter way to do the loop. It just makes like a half loop. Uh, one direction you'll get to the park gate and then the other direction you'll just go to the other end of the loop. So it's a clay clay roadbed that I've seen get pretty muddy so just kind of be careful especially on a day like today where it rained in the area uh, all day yesterday there's a lot of really good drainage at Bastrop Park a lot of the trails are actually sand so the water doesn't sit on the surface but be on the lookout for the uh, roadbed when you are on the Lost Pines Loop On this part of the Lost Pines Loop Trail, you definitely see a lot more of the lushness, more remnants of what this park was like in its heyday. There's a lot of fallen limbs still, but you know, that's part of the regrowth. Part of that regrowth is knowing kind of where it's been and seeing where it's going. So it's good to be optimistic about hiking here and seeing everything that wasn't damaged and just helps you in being hopeful and seeing what this park can be for future generations once it is back to whatever your definition of normal is I guess. So at the end of the top half of the loop, you're going to get to Harmon Road if you did the trail, I don't know, I guess if you do it counterclockwise or clockwise, eventually you're going to hit Harmon Road. You'll just stay on the road a little bit until you get to the next trailhead. It's really pretty today.
when you come back around the Lost Pines Loop, you're going to get to the other side where that service road is. So just know you're going to go left there. You'll keep walking a little bit and you'll see the trail sign. Just a heads up. This is Fair's Overlook, CCC cabin that's one of my favorite places to rest. You're in the middle of a forest in the state park, but you're also in Bastrop. You can see Highway 71 below the Overlook. Just an interesting juxtaposition of growth and Texas history. So I'm gonna grab a snack. I got some gummy worms. Those should be pretty good. Thanks for joining me at Bastrop State Park. If you've been here before, you know how beautiful it can be. If you've never made it out to the state park, I definitely recommend it. Thanks for joining along with me on this hike. If you like what you saw, leave me a comment in the section below. And uh, people keep talking about call to actions. If you watch videos on YouTube, you know what to do to show your support. So I'll appreciate it.